about us. I first met Jody a few years ago when I was looking for someone to help me organise the knowledge I had learnt and wanted to present in sessions and workshops. She'd been on her own journey of exploration when we crossed paths and we immediately realised we had skills that would be of use to each other and could further our mutual interests. So we started the templespace.com and over the next few years we ran all kinds of events and sessions including grief retreats, tantra workshops, one-on-one sessions, meditation workshops and a host of other events and workshops, mostly in Australia though we ran some in Bali, USA and the UK too. We have continued to run workshops and sessions ever since, but in those early days it always seemed like there was something missing and we struggled to figure out what it was. Everything we were doing was fantastic, but it felt like we were still missing the true target. There are currently a lot of complicated workshops and long ritualistic processes on offer out there. Everyone has something of value to offer, but for us most of it was lacking. We were familiar with the conscious scene in Australia, since that is where we had begun, though we pretty soon realised we were going in a different direction. Then, as yet another winter neared in Melbourne, we decided to up sticks instead and spend four months in Bali preparing to run workshops and events there. But we did not find what we'd hoped for there either. So then we travelled for some months in India and took some time researching the various spiritual wisdoms available there until finally we returned to Australia, where we started our work again. This time in Brisbane running workshops in Tantra and meditation, but still we were finding it was just not hitting the target, and we wondered what we were missing. We looked again at our areas of knowledge. Maybe we were neglecting some aspect that needed to be introduced. Both of us were familiar with kink and the BDSM worlds, and there was value in them, most especially in their ability to get clear with communication and boundary setting. But it didn't really deliver the depth of spiritual connection that we were looking for. Then there was the swinging scene, where we found people far more open and willing to go the whole way sexually, but often completely unconscious to their own behaviour, and often using alcohol and drugs as props to force themselves or their partners through situations that were not really working out that well for them. But they didn't seem to care. After taking a break to get some perspective, we returned to the drawing board in order to reconsider the journey so far, and it turned out that what we were missing had been staring us in the face all along, and from that realisation, the experience was developed. Through our journey, we've been seeing that there's a basic desire in human beings to want to experience a state of bliss, yet at the same time, most of what we do to achieve it actually works against us having that bliss. The solution is actually very simple, but for whatever reason, getting there is the hard bit. It turns out that there really is very little you need to do in order to experience bliss states. The trick is in figuring out how to let go of what you think you need to be doing in order to get there. To this effect, it really requires unlearning some of our conditionings. This book is the culmination of all the things we've figured out along the way the knowledge we've gathered, as well as removing that which we think is best filtered out. Where relevant, we offer further reading from sources we believe are of value. We hope you find this book of value and that it gives you enough information to get you started on the journey. It really isn't hard at all, with the right information available and a little nudge where you need it. We believe that everything you need to know in order to have the experience can be found within this book's pages.